Hey everybody. It's been suggested to me quite a few times to talk about this and I was planning to do it like in the next couple of weeks and I saw a comment saying you should talk about films and I was just like you know what yep I'll do it. I got an early finish from work today four hours early. It, the sun's shining it's warm it's fucking lovely this never happens we were dead. So I'm just like that's it get on the bike. Okay so I'm not going to talk about every good film there's ever been in fact I'm probably going to more air around the ones you may not have heard of. Okay, so some films that I just really like. Um, the Matrix series, I know that it's a bit cliche, you know, everyone goes, oh, my favourite films are Matrix. But The Matrix, when it came out, was groundbreaking. It was a, a very new idea, and it was done very well. And it was, at the time that these films come out, they're amazing. Years later, they don't look so good, and people criticise them and say, well, I don't see what the fuss was all about. The Resident Evil series, I fucking love them films. In fact, a lot of the films that Mila Jokovic is in, um, you know, like, uh, let's see, what was this? Ultraviolet and Resident Evil and Fifth Element. Oh, I love Fifth Element. We were talking about this at work the other day. Um, when you're at school in the last couple of years, you normally have to do, like, a report on a film. And the class will watch the film a few times and, you know, they will be discussed and then people have to go and write an essay and read into it and all of this sort of shit. And we got crap films. I got of Mice and Men, or was it of Men and Mice, with fucking Lenny. Oh, I want to go and see the rabbits in the pasture. What with the rabbits? Oh, I whipped the head off a fucking puppy. I'm sorry. I still don't understand why that film is the one that people won't do. It really doesn't make any sense to me. Um, and my mate at work was saying, well, you know which one we did? And I was like, what? He goes, well, it was for music. And I was like, a film for music? And I'm like, okay, thinking it was, you know, something with a really impressive soundtrack. No, it was Independence Day. <laughs> Didn't they just have a normal score? I don't think I had anything so special that you'd have to write a report on it. If I was a teacher and I had a film I was going to show the kids that they would be interested in watching, you know, but there's a lot more behind it, I'd say District 9. District 9 is a really good film. I mean, on the face of it, yeah, it's about aliens and, and this guy's transformation and all of that sort of stuff, but the actual truth about it is the film is about racism, ethnic cleansing, the way that government works exploitation, all this sort of stuff. You know, they just changed it from different races to this alien group, the fucking brawns, mate. You know, if I've been a brawn in my house, I'd shoot it through a bathroom door. But then I wouldn't have a leg to stand on. <laughs> That's terrible. Bad joke, bad joke. Anyway, back to films. Um, see some other films I really like. Sucker Punch. The, the one scene that I fucking love out of that film. There's a few different ones which are just so cool. It's just the because I'm really interested in photography, I'm really interested sometimes not of the story, but just the way that the film's been shot. And that's it, and I know it's CG most of it, but that scene at the beginning with the um, the giant samurais. So cool, so cool. Some other random films that I really like. Uh, quite a few Kevin Smith films. Dogma is a very cool film. Um, the Clerk series, you have to be a real fan of Kevin Smith. <laughs> He's made some shit films, there's no denying that. And even he admits it. But the Clerk series, they were very, very funny. And obviously, um, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, again, funny films. There's a film that I've loved since my childhood, but a lot of people don't really like it, uh, is Tank Girl. I know, I know, the fucking kangaroo things were stupid, but otherwise the film was brilliant. I mean, let's, come on, let's face it, the Ewoks are rubbish. Oh, now he's pissed off some Star Wars fans. And fucking Jar Jar. I don't care if you saved off all your 50 p's. Take your money and fuck off. I know some of you got that reference. Quentin Tarantino films. Quentin Tarantino does make some very good films. Django Unchained. My God, I was not expecting much from that film, but it was fucking awesome. I mean, really, really good. Now I'm not going to try and pick out a favourite film of all time because I just couldn't. But um, Viva Vendetta is very high up there. Very, very political, sort of, you know, modern day type stuff. It's well up to date. And it was just done in a very interesting way. Um, so I love that film. Now, contrasting to the intelligence of Viva Vendetta, Kung Pao Enter the Fist. If you have not seen Kung Pao, you have to watch that film. Honestly, you will die laughing. Why are you two foot off that rear bumper? I don't get this. This is as close to that car as I'd want to be. What are you doing? This is going to end badly, I can see this. Now obviously there's hundreds of films out there which are really good and I haven't mentioned. Um, 
but I can't mention them all. But there's a few that if you haven't seen them are probably worth going and watching. There's a bike behind me, I wonder why. I assume they're not following me. Hello. I wondered if it was someone recognised me coming back there. Well, it's good to meet you. Right, nice to meet you, mate. And you. Okay. See you later. So this is what I was talking about. At the moment, I'm just bumping into subscriber after subscriber. And I think where a lot of people haven't been riding over the winter, I mean, I'm sure that guy probably has, I don't know. Um, this summer is going to get nuts the amount of times I get spotted. I didn't think there was that many people in my area that actually watched my videos, but as it turns out, there really is. There's someone over there who's waving. Oh, I just can't say hello. Hello, mate. I'm all right. I'm currently doing a video talking about being recognised a lot, and you're one of the guys who recognised me. So you're going to get on video now. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so he's going on YouTube. Yeah, this is one of the guys who come up to me the other day and recognised me. I've just had another guy um up in Northney yeah. follow me, and I was just, well, I saw a bike following me. And I was thinking, is he following me? So I thought, this is the, I'm not famous though. <laughs> See you later, mate. And he's just said it himself, you're famous. I'm not famous! I'm not! On your PC and turn on the automatic translation, you know, the captions. Fuck me, it's a hilarious some of the shit that it tries to convert the stuff I say into.